Good morning. Hello, I'm Dr. Sally Reed. I have a PhD. I'm not a medical doctor, but I do talk about health and I talk about healing. What I do is I'm a clear channel, so I channel information. And I also am a healing channel. I work on the quantum level. And I have the ability to see energy as it flows through the body and through the universe. I've decided I'm going to stop um, pretending that I can't do this and just own it. So today, the first question, who is the, uh, from my dear friend, Melissa, she wants to know, can I heal myself? Now, that's an excellent question. And the answer is yes and no on an energetic level. Yes, I can make myself sick. And so conversely, if you can make yourself sick, and we'll talk about how you make yourself sick in a minute, you can certainly reverse that process and make yourself well. It's logical, right? So how do people make themselves sick? There are a million autoimmune disorders. Um, some people like to, you know, they want to find a single, a single hammer. They want to find a hammer and make it work. Well, guess what? There's a million reasons why you have an autoimmune disorder, but essentially what it boils down to is something has irritated your body to the point where your body feels the need to fight against itself to kill it off. It is so filled within your body that your body wants to fight against itself to make it gone. That's all autoimmunity is. Um, often allergic reactions will develop into an autoimmunity because that's what uh, allergies are. You're fighting against something that you don't want. Um, so there are a million, million things. We, if we decide that one thing is the cause, then we are a problem, okay? There are a million causes, but a common cause in highly sensitive, empathic, and, and people who tend to take on other people's problems are a big reason people have autoimmune disorders or issues within their, their guts or their joints or their bones or wherever your autoimmune wants to land is because they have not processed emotions fully. I'm going to say that again. A big reason why you have an autoimmune problem is because you have not processed emotions fully. Either you tabled it for later and <laughs> later never comes, or you're trying to process an emotion that isn't yours. You're trying to take on somebody else's problems. Oh, gosh, I wish I could help them. Oh, gosh, this, I feel so bad for them. Blah, 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 blah. Or then there's a third reason why you have to table emotions is because you come, become overwhelmed with too many emotions at once. So you just push an extra, you know, you have excess. And where do all those tabled emotions go? Well, they go inside your body and they lodge as energetic uh, pockets. And I can see them as vibrational frequencies, but you can notice them as physical pain, like uh, soreness in your shoulders. Like what about your unexplained elbow problem? You haven't done anything to hurt it, but all of a sudden it hurts. Or what about your knee? You, never, you don't remember hurting your knee, but why does it hurt? Or your back. These are unprocessed emotions and or stuck energy. That's all it is. Because on the quantum level, actually on every level, it's all energy. Everything is energy. And on the quantum level, either things are or they are not. It's just like a one or a zero to a computer. It's either a one or a zero. It isn't both. It's just one. It's very... Um, on one line, it's very binary, but the cool thing about quantum, you can have multiple lines at once. So that's what's so awesome about the world. Now, the question was, can we heal ourselves? So yes, we can. So how would we go about healing ourselves? Humans are outrageously good at making things very, very complex or thinking that they're hard when they have to be easy. So it's just like the guy who goes to the doctor and says, my elbow hurts when I do this. And the doctor says, well, quit doing that. It's essentially that. Quit doing it. If you are causing yourself pain, quit doing it. And yeah, it's hard. Not going to lie. I've spent my whole, day, whole life worrying about other people. How can I quit doing it? Well, start number one with permission to stand down. Start number two with permission to focus on taking care of one thing at a time, not multiple things. You see what I mean? Now, I do like to teach people how to do that. That's just something that gives me pleasure is teach people how to stand down, teach people how to heal themselves, teach people how to 
stop feeling so overwhelmed by emotions? So the short answer is yes, we can heal ourselves if we are making ourselves sick. Now, granted, the human body has its ability to heal itself anyway. You break a bone, it heals itself. Um, you, uh, you get sick, you get better most of the time until you don't. And that's exactly what autoimmune disorder is. You get sick, you get better. You have a reaction, you heal yourself until you don't. And that's when the problems start. Your body is doing its best. That's exactly what diabetes is. Your, your thyroid is doing its level best to handle the high levels of sugar you've been eating and the high level of body storage that you have. And then all of a sudden, it can't. And then it, you show up with high sugar levels. You see what I mean? Your body can heal itself until it can't. And we are infinitely capable of finding health as easily as we have found not health. All it takes is an understanding of how we are making ourselves sick so we can stop doing that. Go out and have a great day. Thanks so much for listening. Bye.